Hey everybody, Economic Ninja. I hope you guys are doing great because I am great. And guess who else is great? Eric from Sage News. Eric, how you doing? Hey, how's it going, buddy? Glad I'm, to be here again. Yeah, man. I'm stoked you're here. I I love the camaraderie between our two channels, guys. If you haven't uh, if you haven't seen Eric yet, go and check him out. YouTube Sage News. He's awesome. We're gonna talk about uh, well, we're gonna talk about supply chain, right? Yeah, yeah. This one was kind of a big deal, so I thought uh, I, we should go with this one just because we have 10 people in the state of California that are now controlling 40% of the freight, and the cost of that freight is going to be passed on to all of us. Yeah. Now, before we jump into the uh, the the shipping container issue, a lot of people may not understand that California passed a law a while ago that certain semi trucks are not allowed to move right now in California, and that is causing this congestion, right? Correct. Correct. They did it based on um, the year of your truck and in regards to environmental reasons and things like that. Correct. Yeah. So just when you think people can't get any stupider, <laughs> if that's a word, <laughs> more stupid. Well, then us in California, we just shine like a, a blinding light, some of us. So yes, <laughs> California is skilled at that trade. I'll give you that. <laughs> It's good to be good at something. So yeah, yeah, there's literally not enough trucks moving uh, cargo around. And so we have trucks literally lining up on the border of California yeah. waiting to accept. Um, it's like, the, what is that uh, Disney movie or cars where you have the old <laughs> decrepit, you know, semi trucks like just in there waiting and all the really hot ones are out there, but they're exhausted because they, <laughs> there's not enough of them. Exactly. So they've gone past that and they've leveled to a new level of stupidity. Um, and the new level of stupidity, what they decided to do was because of the problem they're having at the ports, they are actually going to charge the boats, the actual boats that are out there holding these containers, a hundred dollars a day after, like, if it's going to go on a truck, it's nine days. If it's going to go on the rail, it's six days, a hundred dollars a day per container with that price going up a hundred dollars every day. And they're going to charge that to the boats and that boats they're basically blaming the ships for what they can't do. Weird. Wait a minute. California is blaming someone else for something else they did, right? Absolutely. And uh, as government always does, pass the buck. What's going to happen, and I actually have um, some stuff to show you if you want me to click in real quick. Yeah, jump in. All right. So let me take control here. So uh, basically what I have to do is I, I grab the, new, the, the headlines of the articles, uh, South South Cali Port Commission's endorse carriers fines for container backlogs. So they're going to go ahead and charge these fees. And an example of this fee, like it says right here, is it's about after the ninth day, it's about for five days, you're at $1,500 for that container sitting on the port, right? Yeah. It's gotten so bad that even the federal government is, is stating, hey, uh, you 10 people in California, wh where do you think you're getting the authority to do this? And the actual... Um, Federal Maritime Commission, which is the federal government, basically is saying, um, you can't do this. And California is saying, yes, we can. And I even pulled up this article, and you can kind of just put this into Google right here, and you can find it yourself. But even they say, surprise decision by the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach this week to impose hefty surcharges on ocean carriers that take too long to remove containers from overcrowded terminals has raised more questions than answers. Freight industry professionals and the Federal Maritime Commission want to know where the port, the twin ports are getting this authority from. Now, why this is important is basically this is a shipping liner, right? And they have put out this instructions to their customers saying, look, um, we're going to pass these surcharges on to you. And number 12 here, it says, um, Will Mask have to file a new surcharge in our tariff and give us 30 days notice per the federal maritime regulations? And they basically says yes. So the first 30 days, the shipping lines have to eat these costs. After the 30 days, they can then pass those costs on to us, whoever's buying those goods, and eventually down to us, the American people. And just so everybody knows, about 40% of the freight for all of us in the country comes out of these ports. So eventually the goods that you're buying at the store are going to get hit with these charges that 10 people in the state of California are controlling. And to me, we're now being held hostage by 10 people that sit on these boards at the port of Los, uh, Los Angeles and Long Beach. Yeah, and I'm glad you said 10 people because, you know, not everybody's a tool that deserves to be thrown in a toolbox and locked up. <laughs> quite frankly. And, and this, this kind of moronic activity is just, it's hitting fever pitch. And I want people to understand this. Um, 
pride comes before a fall and California made it. You, you want to, this wasn't, I'm going to be on. It's so hard to even tell the truth these days because there's so many people that want to stop it. This isn't going to last forever, guys. Nothing lasts forever. Every cycle has a beginning, uh, a crazy top and an end, or in a collapse scenario, a beginning, a crazy low, and an end. It, it comes back, right? There are ships that are moving out of the Port of Long Beach right now. Uh, right. We talked about this, right? Uh, Oakland picked up a couple of uh, contracts, right? Correct. Yeah. Ships so um, there, ships are trying to get to Savannah. There's a, a clog in the uh, the Panama Canal. But the facts are that that what's going to happen pretty soon is that California is going to be known around the world as don't do business with us. Correct. And there's going to be a day where people stop doing business with California and allow them to collapse. Correct. And honestly, I, I, it's sad to say, but some of us look forward to that day because we have to allow this to reset, right? Absolutely. And this is where also, too, the thing to bring about, it, it, a customer now has a choice. Either they pay a high transportation cost to get it out of there quickly or they, some customers, like I, I did an interview on my channel, and everybody can check out my channel on there too, but for the video I did, I actually talked to a truck driver that basically the broker asked him to go pick up the container, tried to get the container, and it never went through x-ray yet. So customs didn't clear it. They're still holding it, and they're still charging uh -huh. because customs hasn't cleared it yet. So these fees are being – and so the broker's like – don't go get it. We have to talk to the customer. The customer is almost at a point now where they're deciding they don't want to order goods anymore because they they're not being able to get these goods and not knowing when customs is going to release some of these items. Yeah. Now, you know, I can't let uh, everybody know exactly what we're talking about right now for this next show that's coming up, guys. But uh, Eric's hunting down a lead that we might be able to break on this show that might show some severe shortages coming in our country. Um, and we want to get those warnings out to you, but we need to really do our due diligence to make sure. Um, but, you know, going back to the grease story, when I put out that story about the grease um, plant that caught fire, I said, hey, go get some grease, you know, and there might be a shortage. And I said, might. And I mean, Eric, you've probably seen it on your channel, right, where people just go, well, look, it didn't happen. You're like, well, wait a minute now. Yeah, I said might. So you obviously don't hear very well. The, the wax is in the ears. Let's pop that out. It's a Q-tip, but maybe there's a shortage on Q-tips. Um, <laughs> Sorry, you can see the, the sarcasm building in the ninja right now. But yeah, but you know, yeah, you're right. There's not exactly a shortage. In, there's not a shortage in Greece right now. But how do you like them prices lately of Greece? Yeah, and I, kind of I think a big thing that people need to realize what we're trying to do is even the, the stuff I'm talking about, it's not going to affect you tomorrow. It could take 90 days, right? But now what you're kind of looking at is you're looking at, okay, this is information that is true, is you know real, and there is a possibility that this could affect me. How should I prepare for that possibility? And, and I think that's kind of what we're trying to bring here. This is the stuff that's going on. We're breaking it down so you can see it and understand it. And what, it's up to you to decide what you want to do with it. It really oh. is. Totally. All those people that are like, you're spreading fear. You're like, no, I'm just showing you the truth, the facts. And that's what I get excited about with Ninja Nation, because they're the people that are going, yeah, I already need it next month. I'll buy a little extra. And then when everything hits the fan, if it does, which I believe you're going to see in the next, within the next couple of years, and I'm, I'm being gracious with that number, but right. um, uh, we're going to go buy everybody's stuff because this is going to lead to some big things, right, Eric? Absolutely. And, and it's the same stuff like we're talking about, you've talked about, which is something else we should probably talk about in another time is the fact that right now we're getting a lot of goods. Eventually those goods, we're going to be a, they're going to be a glutton of goods. We're going to have too many goods. And now I'm starting to see other people talk about that just so you're aware yeah. and you talk about it way early on. Yeah. And you know, um, if you guys are new to this channel or, or Eric's channel at Sage news, I want you guys to do, do yourselves a favor. I'm not joking. Like hit the subscribe button and the bell, because we're, if, if we're able to come up with this proof, Next week, we're going to be putting out a story that um, it's it's going to – something interesting may happen with our food supply, but we haven't gotten all the proof yet, and we, we want to we want to get that information out to you guys. Correct. Absolutely. Well, let me do this. We, we want to keep all of our videos short because you guys are all busy, and you're busy getting ready and, and yep. getting excited for opportunities. Er Eric, is there anything else you want to close on? No, just have, check out my channel. I've got a video that I do a 45 minute interview with a driver. Uh, we talk about this subject. Um, it's, uh, it's called Sage and Sandman. Check that video out if you want to see a little bit more in depth. Besides that, thanks for having me on and we'll keep bringing the info before it happens as quick as we can. Right on, man. Well, to everybody uh, this weekend, I hope you have a great day. Eric, thank you so much. We'll see you later. The Ninja is out.